The idea of switching careers at the age of 50 might seem stressful, but a new line of work offers new opportunities to learn. One man followed his passion 20 years ago and became the best in the world. In this week's Snapshot New York, CBS 2, Steve Overmeyer discovers that you can find success even if you aim to miss. We're just moments away from a performance that's perilous. Honestly, to this day, 20 years on stage, that I haven't been backstage before walking out asking myself, what are you doing? One mistake, you go from hero to zero, and you can seriously hurt somebody. The great Throdini is the world's fastest and most accurate knife thrower. He holds 44 world records. He's been featured on numerous TV shows worldwide, and he's never missed. Actually, all he does is miss. She literally has sharp knives being thrown at her. Around. Thrown around her, not, not at. That's true. As the saying goes, or I like to say, they last a lot longer that way. <laughs> Knife throwing acts rose to fame in America in the 1800s when it was the centerpiece of the traveling Wild West shows. Through the years, stakes have gotten higher, culminating in the spinning wheel of death, then the veiled wheel of death. But only one man has performed the veiled double wheel of death. Not a lot of space when you have two girls on the veiled wheel of death. That much. Oh while it's spinning almost the second per turn. In the field of impairment arts, success is not measured by hitting your target. It's how artfully you miss. Do you like to shock the audience a little? Very often I will see people sitting in the front few rows kind of like, I can't watch this. <laughs> Can't watch it, <laughs> right, right. but they're watching. What's more, he didn't pick up a throwing knife until the age of 50. I'd like to look at it as saying I found myself. Perhaps all the good parts of all those things that I was makes me who I am today. And who he's become starts with who he's been. Retired professor with a doctorate in exercise physiology, paramedic, pool hall owner, professionally trained chef, ordained minister, and in my spare time, I throw knives. His home boasts racks of steel filled with blades from history, like the only known knives owned by Harry Houdini. His museum is also his practice arena. I need to practice. Right. Do you mind? Oh my God. Is there something I need to sign? Just look right here. Okay, That's okay. Good. Jeez, oh Pete. What the heck? He has a memorable way of making his point. This former professor left a job focused on stability and found a livelihood where the main motivator was self-expression. At any point in your life, it doesn't matter when it is, you may stumble on something that you just didn't know you had. Don't be afraid to make that change. Even if it's entirely different than what you were, that change is still me. Steve's a lot braver than I am, for sure. Yeah, and, and the guy's never missed. That means he might have an off day. <laughs> the streak might end. Yeah. All right. Don't be around for that. <laughs>